<laughs> what was that? So, a little soul. <laughs> A little, a little soul. What yeah, do you mean soul? I, I throw. I do a little soul every now and then. Uh, you mean jazz? Uh, filet a soul. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nights, huh? It looks like it. Okay. <laughs> boy, the cabbage down, boy, turn that old kick round. The only song I ever did sing is boy, the cabbage down. Boy, the cabbage down, boy, turn that old kick round. The only song I ever did sing is boy, the cabbage down. Take it, Tom. I don't think you heard me. I said, take it, Tom. I heard you. I said, take it, then why don't you take it? Because I don't want to take it. When I say take it, you're supposed to take it. You're a fascist. <laughs> that may be true, but it doesn't uh, change the fact that when I say take it, you take it. You're to take it. So when I say take it, you take it. Boom, boom, boom. You understand? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Boil the cabbage down. Take it, Tom. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, the railroad started in America. Rugged railroad men of Yesse went out in the wilderness to build the railroads, a vast spider web of steel rails spanning the country. These men of yesteryear had vision in their hearts and their eyes and great nine pound hammers clasped in their hands, building the railroads inching slowly across the vast bosom of America. <laughs> Thought I'd throw a little sex in the show. <laughs> but this wasn't just a fun job. These railroad men were involved in a heavy job as they had to face dangers, as the railroads were the main way of transportation. These railroads, these railroad men had to face danger. They had to build railroads across raging rivers, across the blazing deserts, across from the from the Purple Mountain Majesties <laughs> to ocean white with snow. <laughs> and they had to face danger like they had to build railroads over, they had to build railroads over crevices. <laughs> there was these crevices these railroad men had to build and they had to span these crevices with um, these stencils, these big <laughs> stencils that they would put on. <laughs> Trestles. <laughs> Trestles. I always count on you. They build these big stents, uh, pretzels across the railroad, <laughs> across these rivers, and in the bottom of these crevices, where these they would build the, the trestles across the crevices. In the crevices, there was pumas. <laughs> Vicious pumas were lurking in these crevices. And these railroad men did just be building a railroad right along, and they oh. all of a sudden they get down, oh. they get to a crevice, and they say, hey, "Whoa!" Look at the pumas in the crevices. I don't want to build a railroad across a crevice with a puma in it. Now, there are no pumas in the crevices. There's pumas in the crevices. No, there were no with pumas. With foam coming out of their They're mouths. Not, they, they did not have foam. And they have bad breath. Pumas. They did not have bad breath because they were not in the crevices. There was pumas There was not in one puma in one crevice. There was... There was over... Th there was three pumas in the crowd. <laughs> three pumas. Mama puma, papa puma, and baby puma. They say, who's been sleeping in my crevice? All right. <laughs> you <laughs> never know who you'll find sleeping in a crevice. Oh, you s Tommy. There were no pumas in the crevices, and you do, do you know why? There's pumas. There were, you know why? Because we do not have pumas in this country. We do. Yes, we do. We, we accept we accept everybody in this country. <laughs> Pumas are on paper, of... yes, but it doesn't apply to animals. Well, now, I... if you want to keep your story historically correct, I suggest you get rid of the pumas right now. Get rid of them. I'm not going down that crap. I... <laughs> Well, there was these vicious beasts in these crevices. And these rare men would come up to these crevices. And back in the old days, they'd come to the crevices, they'd say, wow, look at the vicious beasts in the crevices. <laughs> sure look like pumas. <laughs> but they weren't. But they finished the railroads. These men 
over crevices and rivers, and the reason this song exists is the fact that it's entitled Boil That Cabbage Down. Hot Cakes and Cabbage Juice was a great, in, the, in Promontory Point, Utah, where the railroads were completed, they had a big feast. Hot cakes were boiled in cabbage juice. Yeah. They, would, they would take hot cakes and they'd take these hot cakes and they'd boil it in cabbage juice, say for around, oh, they would do the hot cakes and they'd put it in cabbage juice and boil it around for about 3.50 for about an hour, about two hours. They'd, then they would take the, because they'd be, these hot cakes boiling the cabbage juice, they get all kind of weird. So what they do, they take them out to get them out of the, of the thing. They would uh, take them and put them, strain them, strain them, strain it, strain it through a, um, a t-shirt. They strain the cabbage and the hot cakes through a t-shirt. Yeah. Then they eat the t-shirt. <laughs> I made that up. Yeah. Working on the railroad. 